Welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to create functioning accelerator and brake pedals for your GTA 5 vehicle. Blender, Z Modeler 3 and Veerfunx V are required. Okay, so we're in Blender. I've got my uh, pedals in here now. I just took them from a Forza vehicle and then retextured them to the Detail 2. So we'll export these as a DAE. Just replace this one using my operator presets. So we've got in main selection only with the global global orientation set to Y and Z. Text drop options are nothing. Geometry is just uh, apply modifiers to viewport. Transform is matrix, and then we got armature nothing, animation nothing, and extra nothing. So I'll export that, and we'll jump into ZMob. So this is the uh, Vfunx V car. Like it's just going to be an example car that I'll eventually release to five mods so people can sort of pull it apart and see how individual uh, functionality of Vifunx works on an actual car. But yeah, so what we'll do is we'll import our Vifunx testing oracle.de. We'll import that like so. Then we will select Both of them will go to properties, vertices, format, tangents will turn on, primary color will turn on, secondary secondary color will turn on as well, and then we'll hit apply. Then we'll go to the material browser, we'll apply vehicle generic detail two to these. That's the material it's using. See there. Then what we want to do is jump into vertex mode, click click on the left brake or the left uh, pedal, sorry, and then we'll select these top vertices. You can have this uh, manual selection mode on by having auto turned on. If you don't have auto turned on, it won't work when you drag. Uh, auto turned off, turned on, sorry, left click and drag, and it will select the vertices at the top. We want to do pivot and center to selection. A pivot center to selection is only a feature that's available in uh, the newer versions of Z Modeler. People who are using cracked versions will not have this. Um, so you guys will have to place your local axis manually with the move tool and uh, move axis only setup. Right. Now that we've done that, we will uh, right click. Have to go back to object mode axis and we'll reset the pivot helper. And then we'll do the same thing with this pedal down here. This one rotates around the sort of bottom part, so that's where we're going to center it to. Like so. And then we'll reset that to pivot helper as well. Like so. So we've got two pedals here. And what we will do is we're going to quickly create two copies of them. Oh, sorry, a copy of each of them, sorry. Like so. We'll turn off the top ones. We'll select both of these. Go to polygon mode. So I'm just creating the LODs. Now use separated mode and right click to select. Like so. Yeah, that's all of it. So we'll call this one underscore L1 and this one underscore L1 as well. Like so. So now we'll open up the car and hide everything. I'm going to create a copy of the dials. I'm going to dismiss that. So we'll go back to structure, hit dismiss, delete the LODs, create another copy of it. Well, this one pedal A and this one pedal B. And then we will use the copy local copies local axis from one node to another. We'll left click our uh, pedal A and then left click the dummy like so. So it brings the dummy to that point. And then we'll do the same with this one. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll turn off L0. We'll convert both of these to a compound like so. We'll double click on pedal A, turn on L0, and then drag and drop pedal A into there. And then we'll do the same with the L1 lot. So we'll switch to L1, find pedal A L1, drag and drop like so. So we've got L0, L1. Only need an L1 lot for these. Um, you don't really need them moving on L2. Uh, they do need to have some sort of uh, lot, otherwise they'll uh, bug out on the uh, .ft model, the standard model. We'll do pedal B, so starting with L0, drag and drop, and then L1. 
drag and drop, like so. Then we'll move these up to the top of the hierarchy. So I'm going to put them underneath the handbrake, like so. And then we'll export. So start with our C. We use an auto detect because this car has LODs. And hit yes to replace that one. And then same with this one, Oracle C. Underscore hide wife T. Replace that one. You can see down here at the bottom, it exported all odds except the highest, and then exported highest lot only. Then we'll jump into OpenIV. We'll go to the vehicle, which you can see here. And then we'll jump into the export folder. Drag and drop those in. I'm going to go. Now you want to go to your uh, GTA 5 directory. You want to find the. INI for your vehicle. If you don't have one, you'll just use the sample car and edit some stuff. So you'll rename it to your vehicle's model name without the underscore high, and then obviously configure it as normal. So obviously the Oracle C already has one, so we'll just edit that one with an Opal Plus Plus. And what we want to do is go to the Vifunx V sample car. You can see here there's already an example of pedals. So we got this pedal here. Then we'll go to oraclec.ini. We'll paste this in. I'm going to rename this to, well, rename the number to 25 because we've got 25 bones all together. So we want that to work as normal. And we want to get the rotation value for pedal A. So let's jump into here. We'll turn on the chassis and we'll turn on pedal A. Then what we want to do is go to this screen thing at the top and set that to local and set it to X. And then go to your rotate tool and make sure only rotate geometry is turned on. And then make sure pivot is turned off. So now what we'll do is we'll left click and we will do minus 15. It's a little bit. We'll do try minus 20. We're trying to get the rotation value for our pedal. So minus 20 looks to be pretty good there. So that's what we'll use. So minus 20, it's already using that. That's good. Now we will copy this one. Paste it underneath. Obviously, bring it up to 26. We'll call this pedal B. This one's ro rotation X type is brake. You can see here in the Vfunx V doc, brake is one of them that you can use. And then minimum rotation is minus 20. Obviously, due to the way the axis is on the other pedal, uh, it's going the other way. So this will be a plus 20. So if we test that now, you can see here, minus 20 makes it go back the wrong way. We don't want to do that. So we want to do just plus 20. Plus 20 is a bit much. So we will rotate it until we're happy. You can see at the bottom there, over here, you can see how much it's rotating by. So I can just move it to I'm happy and then see what the angle is. So that's 11. So we'll undo that. And then we'll jump into here. Get rid of this. We'll set this to 11. Rotation X minimum is obviously uh, zero. So that looks good. Now at the top, you want to scroll up and you want to set the parts amount to the part, the number of parts you have. I've already done that. So you can see here, 26. And we've got 26 parts all together, like so. And now we will jump in game and make sure it's working. see there we go this it spawns just make it daytime so you can see now, of course you'd probably be wondering how am I supposed to check to see if they are working and the answer to that is destroy the door you can see here Accelerator is working. 
Frank is working as well. If you want to see them in more detail, of course, you can uh, record with the Rockstar Editor. And look in the Rockstar Editor, all the changes uh, seem to show in there as well, so. But yeah. That was a pretty simple tutorial for Veerfunks. I hope it, it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching.